I've been using computers since the Sinclair Spectrum came on the scene in the Erdot. I've progressed through various Windows versions and latterly ended up at Windows 7 Professional. It was the move to Windows 10 Professional that has prompted me to produce this series of videos called My First Impressions. I had graduated from XP to W7 and was quite happy with the way that that went um, and the two systems compatibility. So I asked around and did some reading on the internet to find out what the position was transferring from W7 to W10 and was reassured by my friends that I wouldn't have any trouble. My next step was to buy a book uh, on Windows 10 which you can see here which was absolutely useless I couldn't read the print and the illustrations were diabolical and the explanations were way out of date anyway so what I did next was to have a walk around PC World and look at the laptops that were on display that had W10 running had a play around with a couple of them and thought it wasn't as much different from W7 as it was on the current version of W10. Next I spec'd out a W10 PC on PC Specialist's website who I'd used before for three previous computers and uh, when I finalised it um, arrived at a price which although was above what uh, I really wanted to pay um, I decided to go ahead. I was due for a week's holiday so I put off ordering the new PC until I returned. In the meantime I ordered a 2 terabyte hard drive from Amazon which I intended to transfer all my old files from my old PC. A week later the new, the new PC arrived with a new monitor and I put off commissioning it until the following day um, and it started up successfully and I was quite happy with the results. So this is my first impressions of Windows 10. Roll the video. Well, here we go. As the earwig said when it fell out of the tree. This is my Windows 10 desktop. Now, you might think it looks a little bland, but... Um, I went through all the colour combinations and screen types, pictures that Windows 10 offered, but um, I couldn't get into any of them because they conflicted with my icons that I have on the desktop to open various programs. And this was the only one that... Um, allowed me to see clearly all the other icons on there. So this is why I've selected this one. Unfortunately, apparently, you can't select your own picture, which I had on Windows 7. A very nice picture that I take note of my front room window. Um, but uh, apparently you can't. I don't know why. Anyway, to carry on. This is the desktop. <laughs> Excuse me. You'll notice the space bar isn't visible and I drag my mouse over the bottom of the screen and the space bar appears. I've set this up because 
it um, gives me a full view of the screen. Now while we've got it open there, I'll just go through the various icons. This is Microsoft Edge, not Explorer as it looks like, it's Microsoft Edge. These are the files that I've got open at the moment. Uh, this is the Microsoft Store where you can download various apps um, conducive with, Microsoft, with Windows 10. Some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, some of them you have to pay an annual fee. Uh, the next one is the mail icon. Now, I haven't used that. Um, there we have uh, pictures to exe um, folder open at the uh, opening page on pictures to exe. This is uh, open office org which is the um, office program that I use. It's free and it works perfectly well so that's why I'm using it. Next we have the webcam. Now the webcam isn't connected so why that's still on there I don't know. I've disconnected the webcam because I went through all this process of trying to record um, the first part of my impressions video uh, but the sound didn't record uh, and I was using the built-in microphone of the webcam but unfortunately it didn't work so I'm trying again with um, an old uh, Logitech headset that um, the rubber pads have rotted away and I'm wearing it with great difficulty anyway the next one is Camtasia, which is the screen recording software that I'm using to record this video. Um, when I tried to transfer the one I had on my Windows 7, um, for some reason it wouldn't work properly. Maybe it was because it had a downloaded upgrade on it. So I had a disk that I obtained when I first bought Camtasia tried that but of course it didn't have the upgrade on and I couldn't get it to open so I, I got on to the um, Camtasia help people and they were very good and allowed me to install the latest uh, Camtasia 8 upgrade which isn't the latest version of Camtasia it's gone on a lot since I bought it but it was the one that was a free upgrade to the version I bought. Next one is the Audacity icon, um, which I was going to record this in Audacity, as well as the um, Camtasia, but I think the microphone's now working okay, so we'll see. On the left hand side here I've got the various icons for the programs or folders that I use regularly. The GeForce um, just happened to be there when I started the PC up from new so I haven't removed it. Bullguard is the antivirus software that I, I bought a 12 month subscription when I ordered the new PC. There's the pictures to exe icon, the audacity icon. That is a folder for a job that I'm doing to make um, an opening credits sequence for the shows that I produce. There we've got Adobe Photoshop Elements 2019. This folder here contains all my pictures to exe data. Um, including completed shows, work in progress, hints and tips, stuff like that. Anything pertaining to pictures to exe, I put in there. There's the Camtasia icon. Now, this photo editing folder is where I put um, the information, uh, user manuals and things like that for all my photo editing 
information on the cameras, various cameras that I've bought over the last five years. So there's a wealth of information there and it's got the current um, Panasonic FZ330, which is my main camera at the moment. <clears throat> Here we've got the Microsoft Edge, which I haven't got fully conducive with that yet. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure how to use it, so I'll get round to it. I've only been doing it a month. Um, there's the Firefox, which is my browser icon, but there's a bit of a conflict between um, British Telecom, who is my internet service C, as a browser. So, anyway, I think I've installed it, but sometimes something else happens and uh, I haven't got round to sorting that out yet. And there's a shortcut to it. There's the recycle bin and there's the icon for OpenOffice.org, the um, office software, free office software. Like Windows 7, if you right-click on an open space on your desktop, you get um, a window opening with various functions that you can perform. Which I'll just drop down. There's the NVIDIA control panel, which I haven't used that. Uh, new is documents that um, you've opened recently. Display settings are the settings for the display and the personalised settings. Now, I got into a lot of trouble with that, setting various things up, and the screen was abysmal. Um, so I've now reset most of them, and I'm happy with most of them. So that's about it for... Windows 10, my first impressions. If there's anything else uh, comes up in the future, I will update this. So I'll sign off for now and hope it's been of help to somebody who has to do the same thing.